Hey, I'm Darlene and you're watching a rapid fire art tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to draw a realistic nose from scratch. I will be using a really smooth drawing paper. You can use an HB pencil or something softer like a 4B to shade darker values more easily. You can use a hard eraser or a kneadable one for higher precision. To blend, I'll use a tissue and a homemade blending stump. For more info on tools, read the description box below. First, we'll need to draw some construction lines to help us shape the nose. Draw two circles side by side with some space in between. The bigger the space in between the two circles, the more the nose will protrude from the face. You can also change the size of each circle to further customize the shape. I will show you some examples a little bit later. The next step is to visualize or draw a straight vertical line down the very middle. This line will help us know where to draw the upper lip, and it'll help us place the top of the nose bridge. Let's first start at the tip of the nose, working around the circle. Work your way up to form the bridge. Go past the vertical line, but not too far that it passes the circle on the right. Then curve your stroke out to form the brow. If the bridge looks too straight for your liking, try adding a bump so it looks more realistic. You can also make it concave. Let's continue around the bottom side of the circle, drawing toward the face and then forming the upper lip right along the vertical line. In case you're curious, here are the dimensions of my drawing. For the nostril, draw a curve between the two circles, creating a shape that resembles the number 6. Let's erase the vertical construction line. And then finally, draw a bracket shape around the bottom right of this circle for the nose wing. Now if you want to make your drawing look more unique, try changing the size of each circle. the angle in relation to the other, the distance between them, or the bridge height of the nose, making it concave or convex. Once you're happy with the shape, let's erase all of the construction lines and get ready to shade. Let's move on to shading. Plan out where you want the light to hit and where the darkest shadows will be. Let's say I have a light source on the left side. Areas facing the light directly, let's say these areas, are the brightest. The darkest areas are those facing away from the light or blocked from light, such as the nostril area, followed by the nose wing, and some areas along the side of the nose. Every nose is different. So the way I shade mine might be quite different from yours. Before you start shading, make sure that the outlines are as light as they can be, because if they show through, our drawing will not look as realistic as it could be. 
They're also more difficult to erase after the shading process, so it's best to lighten them beforehand. Now, if your shading is going to be as dark or darker than the outline, then this will not be a problem, as you can see with the nostril. The outline has blended right in. If you've already started shading and forgot to lighten up your outlines, do it as soon as you can remember. I prefer using my kneadable eraser for this. Just dab and lift the graphite away partially. If it's done carefully, we can erase without affecting the area we've already shaded. I'm using a shading technique called circulism, where I'm just layering a bunch of circles on top of each other. This is great for shading skin. The more circles you overlap, the smoother the shading will be, and the harder you press, the darker it'll be. As you shade, work around areas where you want the nose to be brightest. These bright zones are called highlights. Continue shading, overlapping your circles until the skin texture becomes smoother and smoother. Increase your drawing pressure slightly to darken areas of the nose where you want it to be in shadow. These specific areas that I'm darkening will make the surface of the nose in that area appear to curve away from the light source. The darker I shade, the more the surface turns away. There's no single way to shade a nose. The areas that you shade depends on the shape that you want to define for your nose. Navigate to the timestamp above to skip to the next narrated step. Do keep reflected light in mind. For example, even though the base of the nose faces away from the light source, the rays can still bounce off other surfaces, like the upper lip, causing the underside of the nose to become illuminated, to a certain degree. I'm shading along the nostril while avoiding the very edge to account for that bit of reflected light. To learn more about how and where to shade your drawing, visit the shading tutorial in the description or in the video card, which is going to pop up right about now. From here, I'm just trying to make the skin look as smooth as I can get it, and I'm darkening my shadow areas even more. This is a very long clip, so I'm just going to speed it up. Navigate to the timestamp above to skip to the next narrated step.
keep shading in a circular pattern until your drawing is as smooth as possible. If you want it to be even smoother, use a blending stump with the same circular motion. I'm barely touching the paper right now. If that's too difficult to control, try using a soft tissue. Wrap it around your finger and spread the graphite around using full contact. To prevent unwanted smudging, avoid blending from a dark area into a lighter one. When the tissue becomes too dirty, move your finger to a new spot and continue until your drawing is as smooth as you'd like it to be. What we're doing here is we're pushing the graphite into the tiny valleys within the paper's surface to reduce any appearance of graininess in the drawing. After blending, you may want to touch up your drawing, making certain areas darker so the drawing pops, and or making the highlights brighter for the same effect. The quickest, most effective way for me to brighten up a highlight is to dab it with my kneadable eraser. If you don't have a kneadable eraser, you can also use a hard rubber or plastic eraser, swiping the paper very gently to remove a little bit of graphite at a time. I'm just going along fixing areas where my shading looks inconsistent. The smoother the shading is, the better. Add and remove graphite where needed to define a nose shape that you prefer. If you want to watch me tweak this drawing further, please continue watching, but I won't be narrating the rest. To watch the entire drawing process condensed into a short slideshow, please navigate to the timestamp displayed.
I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. If you want to support what I do, please like and share this video with your friends. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can catch the next video right when it comes out. If you want to learn how to draw a male, female, and child's nose, as well as more customizations and nose drawing methods, watch my other video on how to draw noses. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.